I think the you know the fact that you talked about this idea of entrepreneurship is it also because one of the things that you hear about millennials is they don't want to work for anyone. They want to work for themselves. This is that rejection of authority, rejection of rules, the same. So within these big organizations as well, they're looking for silos where they are their own boss and they can do things. Youth of today grow up in an environment where I think they have much more access to raise their voice. There is more democracy in the world. There is more, you know, uh, activism in the world. There's more tolerance for and, and belief that this is right for human beings in the world. And I think that's what's crept into the workforce. So from our perspective, we believe that the 21st century enterprise is really going to move, shift from practices that are management anchored or management driven to be employee led. So I think we're shifting our conversations in our practices much more to putting what we call inverting the pyramid and really making it the role of the manager to engage, enable and empower the employee to do what he needs to do to be more successful. I think there is one subtle shift which has happened between Gen X and Gen Y. And the way I see it is this, Gen X saw reason, strong reasons to join a company. Gen Y is seeing strong reasons to leave companies. And I think that's a subtle shift which is happening today. So, you know, clearly when Gen Y is not able to associate my thinking is not, I am not able to relate to what is happening in this company. They would leave. Gen X would think thousand times before leaving a company. Because security was a big driver. It was a big driver. Neither Gen X nor Gen Y nor Gen Z is going to define this. I think data will define everything. I think artificial intelligence will define everything at some point. Everything will be so personalized. Um, we're seeing that happen now, right? We've gone, we've gone from having long attention spans as human beings to having very short attention spans. Korea is the best example of this, if you look at it. Where we ourselves are called the eight, sec eight second generation, okay? Which means I have very less time for everything. You have very less time. We have you know, life just happening so fast. Data is going to define. Art, that, that is why this big cry about artificial intelligence. This will take over. Everything will be personalized to your employees, to users. Everything will be customized in terms of behavior patterns, policies that are defined for a particular person. Gen X will see data as more information. And I love that more information. I feel so happy to have seen more data. So clear, it's clarity and so on and so forth. But I see it as information. But Gen Y will see it as iteration. They just don't stop with information. They want to do iteration with that. And that's the difference. And that's what Gen, and that's the, in my opinion, that's the Gen Y mindset. The moment you start throwing yourself into that iterative kind of a thing, you, you start displaying a new mindset which the Gen X will hold himself or herself. So a little bit. So I think that's the shift which has happened.